Well, we're joined by Marin Cilic, the number 16 seed. He won Queens, of course, and his fingers are aching because he's just signed about 300 autographs for some of the young children. And Marin, they looked a little bit starstruck. Yeah, a little bit nervous, but it's normal. And I had really pleasure to, to be amongst the kids and I know how, how much it means to them. So just to do a little, little bit something relaxed and uh, to enjoy a bit uh, my day off uh, is nice. And starting tomorrow, so uh, I'm going to put my thoughts now on the match and to get ready. I guess in a way it must be quite nice because you think back to how you would have felt about meeting a, a tennis player at, at their age. It would have been pretty exciting. Definitely. I was uh, also at a young age and uh, I think it was in 97 when Ivan Ishevich played Muster in exhibition. I was a ball boy then and it was uh, just, you know, an amazing feeling for me to be amongst them on the court, also picking up the balls and uh, it meant a lot to me. So I, uh, I know how it feels a little bit to them and I always try to, you know, be nice and uh, smile a little bit to ask a couple of questions to, to make them feel good. So uh, I was uh, really enjoying it. When you ball boyed for Goran, was he nice? Did he talk to you? Uh, no, he was just uh, messing a little bit with the crowd and having fun with that. But anyway, I was uh, also enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, well, well done on your win in Queens. But obviously, it wasn't the manner in which you would have liked to have won. But you'd played brilliantly. You must be arriving here with good confidence. Definitely. I mean, uh, I had really good week that, uh, that week in Queens and uh, played some really good tennis. Unfortunately, that what happened in, uh, in the final wasn't expected and uh, nobody you know wouldn't like to win that way but uh, i'm just taking it as as i played really well in the in the tournament and then also had this week uh, this previous week couple matches in uh, in stoke park a uh, few exhibition matches just to get myself also going and uh, i think my confidence is on a good level but uh, starting here from the first round it's a new tournament you have to be ready and uh, I think physically it's uh, going to be a little more demanding as playing best of five sets, but uh, uh, as uh, it sometimes could, ca could happen when you win a tournament, you, your confidence goes uh, a little higher that you are you know, putting uh, more expectations on yourself. So I think I'm going to just stay cool, be uh, down on the ground and uh, also uh, try to do as, as good as I could. Do you feel you're due a good performance this year in the slams? Because obviously your knee injury prevented you competing in Australia and then you went out in the third round of the French. Are you, are you due a big one? Uh, well, I think I had a uh, pretty good five, six weeks uh, coming to here. And uh, I think in French Open I played really well. I lost to Del Potro there with having some chances. And uh, I think it was, uh, it was a good match for me. And now just uh, with this win in Queens, it uh, moved me a little up on the rankings. I'm, I'm 16th seed here, so having a little bit easier draw, not uh, meeting any higher seeds uh, until the fourth round. So I think that gives me a little more... Uh, getting into it, uh, getting into the tournament. So uh, I'm feeling good, and hopefully my game is gonna fit also well. And also, people might forget that you made the fourth round here as a teenager in 2008. So you can turn it on here. True, and uh, that was uh, my best result uh, so f in the Grand Slams until then. And I really had a good draw. I was playing Arnaud Clement in the fourth round, who was uh, a little bit outside of the top hundred. Uh, to play Reiner Schuttler, who made it to the semis and then played uh, Rafael Nadal. And uh, it was really huge for me to, to come to the fourth round, uh, definitely. And uh, that was my best result in the, in the Wimbledon uh, until now. So hopefully this year I can start well and uh, try to do a best result again. Well, you're smiling. Do you, do you enjoy the atmosphere and the vibe around Wimbledon? It's a special place, isn't it? A lot of players stay in houses rather than hotels. It's a... It has a really warm feeling, this championship. Uh, definitely. I'm staying uh, just uh, close to here, close to Orangi Park, and uh, we are walking almost every morning to the courts and uh, uh, renting a house. So you come home, you uh, can make dinner, you can go outside as well. And uh, it's more like a home envir environment that we try to make. And it uh, 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 also can rain, and then uh, we can also go back, not to stay around too much on the courts and not to waste our energy. And uh, it feels uh, much better as during all year we are on the, in the hotels and uh, always having the same routine, uh, going to the club, going to the room and nothing much is changing. But here it's uh, pretty relaxed and uh, still you can uh, use your, all, all of your energy on the court and then uh, I think uh, gives you a little bit edge than on some other tournaments.
Were you watching any of the football over the last couple of days? Because obviously there were a lot of very upset England football fans last night. Did you tune into the match and watch the penalties? Uh, yes, we watched uh, actually uh, all of the games from the Euro Cup and uh, we watched also last night. It was a pretty exciting game and they went to the penalties. England had a chance there with uh, one penalty up. But uh, I mean, uh, those things can happen as, uh, you know, it's pretty nervous moment. It's uh, uh, always uh, players are getting tight in those uh, situations so you have to be able to deal with it but I think uh, England was playing really well and it showed that uh, they have also a really good spirit as uh, as also in the Croatian team we had that they uh, were f fighting really well and uh, unfortunately you can't always uh, predict what's the result going to be but you have to always give your best and I think they, they did well. Okay, I won't ask you for a prediction here, but uh -huh. out, out of the European Championship then, we've got the four best teams still in it, arguably. Who, who takes it? The Germans are looking good, Spain will fancy it, Portugal have got Ronaldo, and obviously Italy will be confident after knocking out England. Who do you fancy? I would fancy Spain. I think uh, they played really well, and then none of the teams they played so far, except Croatia, of course, uh, managed to put them in a big trouble. So I think... Uh, they could uh, go until the end and they seem that they uh, play the best uh, football so far. Well, we shall see. Uh, in the meantime, uh, stay relaxed. Thank you for uh, signing all those autographs. You've made a few new fans. The very best of luck and uh, we shall see you after a win, fingers crossed. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much.